Hey everybody, welcome to part one of my walkthrough of the 1993 classic point and click game, Mist, brought to you by Cyan, the genius minds of Robin and Rand Miller. This was the first video game I have ever played, video game, computer game, any game at all that I ever played. So it is a very nostalgic game for me and holds a very, um, very, uh, close place to my heart and I've always been a huge fan of it and it recently became uh, went up for sale on Steam so you can actually download it now on Steam and relive your classic childhood nostalgia so I decided to go through and uh, play it again since I haven't played it since I was a kid and it still holds all the same um, childhood nostalgic moments that I had and I decided to do a walkthrough just because I love this game so much and this first part of the walkthrough is going to be me just playing the cutscenes for you. Um, I'll actually start going into the actual ages in part two. So this one's just going to be the initial uh, introduction cutscene and then the first uh, the first three cutscenes that you need that give the backstory. So that's what this part of uh, part one is going to be of this walkthrough. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's click on the new game. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending it's not yet yet been written, written. Okay, that was the opening cutscene. So now all we need to do is click on the Mist book and catch our first glimpse of the Island of Mist. There it is. Beautiful place. Okay. Now we just click on the picture to start the game. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go up here off the dock and Come up here to the grassy area and pick up this note that's on the ground um, just so that you guys can see it. Uh, Atreus left a note for his wife Catherine and, and he has a message for her. And this is the note telling you that you need to go get that message. So I'm going to take you to the room where you can see the video message he left for her. It is down here in this room. On the side of the dock, just click on the door, just go down. This actual whole room, this whole concept of the room and the message that he left for her uh, actually was not included in the original, um, the original game. Um, the creators created it very open-ended to where the player could just kind of explore and do what they want without any direction and initial testing showed that the players were extremely confused because they didn't have any direction at all and didn't know what to do. So they went back and added the note and added this room and added the message to kind of give you a little bit of backstory just so that players wouldn't be so confused and had a little bit of guidance about what the story was about and what to do and I think it helped a lot. So when you're facing the stairs, um, over here on the left-hand side, you'll click on this little panel here, and you'll open it up. And you need to enter the number of marker switches that there are on the island. 
there are eight marker switches. So just enter the number eight and then push the red button. And then go back over here to the center. And when you push this button now, you'll get the message from Atreus. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Okay, so that was the first message, and that actually, um, the, the, all of the actor um, live action done, recorded in this game, was done by the two creators of the game, uh, Robin and Rand Miller. So that was Rand Miller um, playing the part of Atris, and he also plays the part of Akinar, while his brother plays the part of uh, his brother in the game, Cirrus. And you will see their videos coming up. I'm going to go to their um, cutscenes here. We'll just back out of this room. And we're going to go up the hill here. And up the hill again. And we're going to make our way to the library. Enter the library. And on both sides of us, we have two books. On this side, we have a red book. This is the book uh, where Cirrus is trapped. And on the other side, we have the blue book where Akinar is trapped. So I'm going to start with Cirrus. And we just click on the page and then click on the book. And that will open it. And you can see the first cutscene. So that was the first cutscene for Cirrus, played by uh, co-creator of the game, Robin Miller, a total cutie. I have a little crush on him. I like him a lot. Um, he also did the music and sound effects for the game. He's, he's a musician, um, and uh, he did the, the design for it as well. Um, lots of the, um, and you can, you can hear in his interviews, him talking about all the hundreds, if not thousands of hours he spent rendering for this game. Um, so yeah, he did the visuals and the music. So now we're going to, um, enough fanfare for Robin. Let's go on over to see Akinar. Ages. <laughs> I'm a 
than ever. <laughs> I must have the blue paint. Okay, and that was the first cutscene for Aknar, played by Rand Miller, co-creator of Myst. So now you know um, just the basic backstory of the game, just kind of enough to get you going. Uh, your purpose is going to be to go through the different ages and collect either the blue pages or the red pages. I, for this walkthrough, I'm going to be doing both, um, collecting them both at the same time. And then when you play it, you can make your decision which brother you want to help or if you don't want to help any of them. Um, but we'll get to that later. But now you know the backstory of, of what we're going to be doing. So in part two, I will actually take you through um, the first age. You can do the ages in any order you like. I would suggest doing the mechanical age before the Salentic age because the um, directional sounds that you're going to learn in the mechanical age, you'll need to use them again in Salentic. So like I said, you can do it in any order, but I highly recommend doing mechanical before Salentic. Um, this bookshelf here has Atreus' journals. Um, they give really cool backstories to the different ages that it's information that some of it is information that you don't have to have to complete the game, but it's really cool storytelling, so feel free to read through, the, through these. Um, some of them do contain some information that you do need to know, um, some diagrams and things like that. So I have a missed journal where I copy down anything that I think may be important. I copy it down into, the, into my journal so I can use it for reference later so that I don't have to come keep coming back to the library. It makes it a lot easier. And that's it for part one.